So, yeah, this is Mara. Welcome to my uh, new stream. I hope you enjoyed the previous episodes. Uh, now, first a little warning. Um, if you suffer from uh, misophonia uh, related to, to chewing sounds, uh, then you might want to skip this episode or uh, press mute or whatever. Um, I repeat, if you do suffer from uh, misophonia uh, and you get triggered by chewing sounds, then you want to turn off this episode or at least turn off the sound. Thank you. Okay, let's get into it. Now, as you may remember from uh, last time, I got out of the other place and I continued the journey for a wee bit after I turned off the stream last time. And I found some new wolves, so might as well train them too. At least with uh, the bones I have left, I don't have that many. So I uh, need to start collecting them again when I find skeletons to kill. So one person just started watching. Thank you for watching the stream, welcome. I really appreciate the support. So yeah, we're at the plains biome. Uh, and those are of course good for food, uh, finding villagers and all that sort of stuff. And we're just gonna continue to travel north. So as usual, I'm gonna look at the clouds. They're rolling that way, that means that way over there is west. That means north is in this direction. So, if I put on my wings right now, then I'm probably going to be able to take off. There we go, his food straight away. And of course, if you have wolves, you don't even need to use your sword. You can just punch the food and the wolves will take care of the rest. I kind of wonder if that also works on uh, on horses, but then again, if I punch a horse and let the wolves uh, do it, then um, YouTube's gonna demonetize me. Uh, in a way, the wolves are being uh, disadvantaged because they get more food if I hit them with my uh, looting sword. But then I need to make sure that it's the looting sword that kills the mob and not... Oh, I thought I was going to be another wolf. It seems kind of big for a wolf. Anyway, then I need to make sure that um, the killing blow is done with the looting sword and not by the wolves. So there's even more reason to get in them critical hits. Now the sun is going down, so I think I'm gonna stay in this plains biome because as you've seen on previous streams, uh, streams these plains biomes are uh, really lush to fight phantoms in. It's gonna clear a little area. Have a little circle so that it can see me. And pick some orange tulips while I'm at it. Represent them. Now fighting phantoms this close to an edge uh, could be a disadvantage. Especially if, if I do get low on health and a creeper over there decides to go for me. Here, I hear them already. Oh, that was quick. Uh, as I expected, for phantoms, these wolves are zero help. Come on guys, start swooping. I got in my head a little bit too early there. And just, just in time. Slowly we're getting better and better at hitting them in the face at the right time. I 
And eventually, these phantoms aren't going to be much of a problem anymore. Well, this is boring. But since the game isn't spawning any more phantoms for me right now, there's really no point in uh, staying in that little circle I made. This is the patch I was talking about on the last stream. Uh, right now it's uh, it almost turned into grass, didn't it? Guess we're just gonna collect some more food. Uh, wait for more phantoms to spawn. Oh, that one came out of nowhere. I wonder if trapping them into cobweb would make the wolves attack it though. It would be interesting to uh, tell out. Is Aaron telling me about his uh, job interview or is he setting up for some joke? I seem to get stuck in the trees a lot. I hear other people talking about that as well. Okay. There you saw me miss a shot with a bow three times in the in a row. And there's a zombie. I guess they need to hit me one time before the dogs even give a shit. Nice and clean. Ah, Spidey. We'll let the hounds take care of him. Just like that. That one over there. Okay, while we wait for more phantoms, I'm going to pour myself a, a drink. Okay, so the, the the wolves do try to get him. I think maybe a trap with some uh, cobweb might not be the worst idea. So, okay, so he got violated on a job interview. I don't know why he's telling us instead of the police, but.
There's another phantom. I did not hear that one spawn. They're supposed to scream like that when they spawn, aren't they? I don't know, I seem to be getting good hits in on these phantoms today. With my uh, with my axe, my timing seems to be uh, a lot better than it has been. Um, I don't know, it seems to be kind of more relaxed than usual. It could be the potato crisps. Flaming spider! <laughs> Almost made it. And try and jump on top of him. Well, that didn't really work out, did it? Sometimes it's hard to be a spider. Sometimes it's hard to have eight legs. Terribly sorry about that. Ah, new phantoms just swooped in. It's time to ready my axe, as they say. I'm not even wearing proper armor right now. Come on, phantoms. It's getting light again. This is the last chance of getting an axe in the face instead of burning to death. Come on, my way of killing you is a lot more humane than burning in the sun, trust me. What happened to the other one? I mean, there were two there, right? I'm not crazy. I mean, I am, but there were two there, weren't there? I have to collect the bones in case we meet more doggos. These guys are talking about Mexican food. Yeah, so not everybody's here to play Minecraft. All right. I hear a witch. And when you hear a witch and you can't see it, it's usually hiding in a hole like this, I've noticed. And this one actually has an entrance, so... Let's go investigate, shall we? There it is, we found the witch. You poisoned my dog. Ooh, iron. Something tells me this is one of them caves that just uh, goes back up to the surface like that, yeah. I'm so sorry, doggo. Oh, I got an effect as well. Let's see, slowness. I'm not actually that slow. Is it my boots? No, maybe it's just showing the effect because the effect is on my dog. Or do I have particles as well? Yeah, I do. Very weird. No, oh, timer ran out. Exactly at the same time. I was standing next to it when the, po when the, the poison hit. Ah, uh, who knows? Screw it. 
The clouds going west, so onward. I see a village. Now, does it have a smith? No. Or? No. Just look like that for a little bit. It does have a lot of food. And we're continuing onwards north. Here we are at our new ocean biome. You see a little ravine over there. It's time to um, clear away some stuff. Get ready for that nice new ocean adventure that we've been on on the stream a couple of times already. So we're bringing some cod for the dolphins and lots of empty inventory slots. All right, let's jump right into it. Okay, now this is weird. A ravine this close to, oh my God. Look at that, I was sorting my inventory on this death tramp over here. So lucky that it didn't collapse. Then again, why would it? Lucky again. Here's a dolphin. It can take me directly to a shipwreck. There we go. Thank you, little dolphin. Very nice of you. Gosh, they're so cute, huh? Oh, maybe I should get some air while I'm at it. Not that many people online, but still enough. Let's see. I haven't checked the stream quality yet. I I do apologize if it's laggy as fuck and I haven't noticed. Sorry about that. For now I just have a hard time navigating on the ship. Well, this better have a treasure chest. Uh, I mean a treasure map. Uh, looking at the stream it seems smooth enough so I'm not going to worry too much about that. But it doesn't appear that this particular ship had a treasure map. Just a little loot chest with ample loot. Ah, I'll accept it. Now that dolphin over here is probably going to lead me to the same ship if it's not the exact same dolphin we just met. But we can give it a shot. Except we need some air first. Let's see where it takes it. Um, does actually seem to be determined to take us to a different place. So that's good. Nice. Thank you so much, Dolphin. Hey. No, this one doesn't want his bonus fish. Sure you don't want a bonus fish? 
There you go, I knew it. Okay, a little breath of air. Well, that's creative. Good job, Jeb. And there's my buried treasure map that I've been craving so much. I like to collect the books as well. Means you don't have to craft them. Oh, some TNT, why not? Pumpkins, get plenty of those. Potatoes are good for smelting for XP. And then if I'm not mistaken, on their deck there should be... Okay, that part of this ship is... Is it missing though? Could be... Uh, close, but nah. It almost looks as if this is the, the rest of the other ship. Like what was missing on the other ship is here and vice versa. But anyway. There we got the buried treasure. Oh, and this one is even so close. Okay, let's find north. Found it. Grab some rockets. No, I don't want to eat my fish. Those are for the dolphins. And um, let's go find it. Oh. When well, you're looking at the map, but not your altitude. Oh, I should be somewhere over here then, shouldn't I? Is that it? No. no. I guess I really need to do the things where I look at the map with both hands. And I think this is it. It's ought to be somewhere around here. So, I mean, X marks the spot, right? That's what they say. I think Aaron is definitely uh, high, like Ostrich suggested earlier on this stream. needs to take a couple more bong rips probably. If you don't find the treasure chest, you're gonna have to mine your own iron, don't you? Oh, it, sh it, should, it should definitely be here though. Like, am I still somewhat on the right track? Yeah, definitely. Further in. I'm gonna see if I can find it from below. I mean, theoretically, that should be possible, shouldn't it?
that phantoms are gonna spawn any moment now, cause I exposed my head. Alright. I guess it was just that one night. I guess it was just like the calmness of the planes. And now the stress of not being able to find that treasure chest has gotten to me. But then again, it's not like it's really stressful. And I have to keep digging straight ahead. There we go. See? We all knew it was there. Let's get rid of some junk. There we go, swoop that whoop. I don't think it's actually going to swoop in here. And another heart of the sea. The reason we're on this journey to begin with. Oh, maybe I should wear my armor when I'm doing this. Still got it. Oh, I think that was the sound of the other one dying, wasn't it? I can hear it swoop, but there we go. I'm pretty sure I hit it in time there, but... I guess the game is wrong. When it's right, it's right. Hmm. Now where am I going to put this? There we go, that was the last one for now. No new one's gonna spawn now as long as I stay under solid blocks. Also, I guess one was still out there. Getting some good loot though. Really not complaining about that. 23 hearts of sea so far on this trip. Only two pit stops so far. So yeah, I'm happy with that, I'm not gonna lie. And did you know that the game prevents you from accidentally putting a shulker box in a shulker box? Because that's the best way to lose it, is to put a shulker box inside a shulker box. Choke is stuck, dick, is what Aaron says. Well, it's kind of right. And that's why I like to kill them. I wonder if I can do the action the face move while swimming.
Let's test it out. As soon as it's done being stuck in the trees, of course. Turns out I can't. Also my computer starting the lag, which I do not enjoy. Oh, okay, underwater I can do it, apparently. Somehow my spacebar just slipped there. <laughs> like, not mechanically. Okay, and off we go. Looking for new dolphins and our shipwrecks and our those little monuments where we can uh, find drowned because I still want to have more of them uh, tridents. Another person just joined the stream. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're playing Minecraft on Sim PvP. Uh, and game difficulty is hard. Um, we're looking for hearts of the sea and tridents swimming around and doing treasure maps and stuff like that. As always, if you do enjoy watching this, uh, please subscribe, uh, but don't press like on the video unless you actually do like the video. And they left again. Ah, who can't blame them. Guess I need some air. Well, that was oddly square, but... I do like the, the swimming animation a lot. And over there you can see that one of the drum that I was talking about. And that particular one doesn't seem to be sporting a trident. It's not that interesting to me right now, but... And a new viewer just joined. Thank you for tuning in. Now we were looking for shipwrecks, but I guess we have to settle for half a shipwreck this time. Or is it? No, it might be just laying on its side, come to think of it. That means more loot here. as well as here. But this is never the good load. I guess we're gonna make our way over to um, that island over there. Now that looks like a teeny tiny jungle biome. Also actually, before we do that, 
We need to see where those um, drowned were coming from. Those monuments usually have a substantial amount of them. And if only one of them has a trident, then I can try and hit them with my looting sword and maybe get another trident. As you just saw, I have like over 20 of them, Hearts of the Sea, right now. But it's still a bit quiet on the trident front. I only found one so far on this trip, so that's not so good. Arl is watching the stream. Thank you so much, Arl. Remember to hit subscribe so that your phone tells you every time I press scream. Uh, I mean st stream, of course. <laughs> uh, also, if you do like the video, feel free to leave a like as well, but only if you actually like it. Ramiro Ramirez Cavazos says he hasn't left. Ah, okay. This was just that the the counter went down to from two to one, and uh, then it went back to two. So maybe somebody just retuned in. Maybe the other guy left, and somebody else came in. Who knows? YouTube doesn't actually tell me who is watching. So yeah, we're gonna make our way to that teeny tiny jungle biome over there. Even though something tells me that there's gonna be a bigger jungle biome behind it. Sometimes people complain about my field of view. Uh, and yes, I do have it set to Quake Pro. Um, and yes, it did look weird in the beginning. Uh, actually, I spent an entire evening one time just steadily increasing it. I had a standard and I just remember that every time um, a new day came in Minecraft, I would simply... Uh, up it a notch to eventually end up at Quake Pro. So in one evening my eyes got used to it eventually. Ah it looks like we'll actually be able to walk there this time. Or maybe not. I'm not quite clear about those coastlines. The trees are blocking my view. Maybe we'll have to swim a bit, we'll see. Here we go. As you can see, if you find two treasure maps uh, very close to each other, it will in fact generate the same map. Now we're just gonna dig here and try to find it. Let's just dig in. I've been going for 40 minutes. We just passed the 40 minute mark. That means that um, the stream is about to come to an end in order to have um, a watchable video based on the attention span of people. And there we go, another heart of the sea. 10 gold, 4 TNT. One iron ingot, and five prismarine crystals. So that's pretty good. Also, I can't help but mine a little iron over here when I see it, right? Hmm. 
Good thing that Minecraft picks up the blocks in the order you drop them. That way you can always get a hold of the one thing that's still lying around. Now this place is a death trap in itself. Let's try and set it off for shits and giggles. Now, normally I wouldn't destroy the terrain like this, but I don't think anybody else will ever be using these particular chunks. I'm so far away from everything really. So, yeah. Oh, hi Rice. Thank you for joining. So what do you guys say? Am I going to uh, continue on the um, on the ocean and find some more of them sweet hearts of sea or should I look around this jungle for a bit and see if I find any of those um, jungle temples? Because uh, we haven't seen those on the stream yet. Let's see, heart of sea. Rice is asking how his fish is. <laughs> that is true, I did steal all of your fish. I will replace them. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this journey and I get back home, I will get back to AFK fishing and then I will remember to put a fair share aside for you and put them back in your castle. Uh, after I cook them for the XP, obviously. So... What do you think, uh, four shulkers full of fish would be fair, or...? It's your birthday. No shit. Happy birthday, Rice. Did you, f did you turn, uh, 18 now, or...? Should focus on showing player-made structures. Um, yeah, that will happen, uh, except not while I'm on this particular journey. Uh, as soon as all my shulker boxes are filled up with loot, then this journey is going to end, and then I will be back. A double chest will be fine, thanks, says Race. You turned 17. Oh, okay. That's good. It's only, so only one more year of having to deal with other people telling you what to do so that's pretty good and also next year you can you can vote and then you can be depressed about the results just like everybody else so so that's good very good okay so parrots now, there's no point in uh, in taming parrots at all because uh, just like wolves they will just stay behind here in uh, chunks fold and unload it. Uh, but it is cute to see them. Those jungle biomes are mighty pretty, I must say. I wonder how many kinds of parrots there are. Uh, this one does look identical to the one up there, or is that just me? I could see if I can get a hold of any seeds for them. I fortunately don't have any uh, chocolate chip cookies. I can come to your country when I turn 18, says Race. Yeah, you could, you could. I guess you can travel everywhere. You could go to Germany. I can guarantee you that Germany is a lot funnier than this country. Unintentionally. Yes, so now I have a tamed parrot. The knife all is well. It should put itself on my shoulder pretty soon. Now it sounds like a 
baby zombie, but as you can see in the subtitles, it's just a parrot mimicking zombies. Did it just, yeah, there it sat itself on my shoulder. How cute is that? I guess the phantom must have scared it, huh? Welcome to the stream, Ostrich. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, no, Rice, I'm not going to adopt you. If I, if, if I start adopting every kid that tells me they want to be adopted by me, then I'm going to have more children than anybody. So it's just, uh, it's not the kind of life I picked, but I, I am flattered that, that you want this at all, though. Okay, I was going to hit that with my axe, but... It gets stuck in a tree. So nice when it's raining in the jungle. Okay, onward. Oh, those were just more parrots, okay. Now we're continuing to look for a, a temple. Um, also, Aaron, uh, no ostrich, I cannot adopt you. Although that wouldn't make me an instant grandfather, I suppose. That's sort of tempting, but that, that would be unfair to its rights, wouldn't it? Okay, I thought I saw... Um, temple there but it was sheep I don't know what sort of jungle has sheep but I guess in Minecraft everything is possible especially when Jeb is running it Notch would never allow sheep in a, in a jungle this is bullshit I don't know why I always go into caves when I'm exploring and I see them, but I just like to explore the surface a bit. It's a good way to get some easy metal. You should make a cooking vlog. Uh, no, Aaron, I cannot adopt you either. Um, you see, by the time we would get the paperwork done, the, um, the wall would block you from making the travel. I'm sorry, that's a terrible joke. Uh, no rice. Listen, you like work in a kitchen professionally and you ask me to start a cooking vlog? I mean, really? So, why would there be vines on the inside of a cave, Jeb? Why did you do that? Now, in case you're new to the stream or new to me at all, I blame Jeb for everything. Okay, maybe these parrots are capable of teleporting. I'll see if it follows me back home. Who knows? Maybe it does. Nice lightning bugs, by the way. The lighting, I mean. I'll come over to Norway and make a vlog with you. Actually, that does sound kind of nice. Anything to... talk about something else than adopting. Also, I don't really, I don't really enjoy, no, I don't blame Jeb for the fun. <laughs> also, I don't, I don't really enjoy cooking, to be honest. Uh, but it's just like, as a dad, you have to cook sometimes. So that's when I cook, but if I can avoid it, 
I don't. Like, I really don't like it. It's tedious. There was a lot of iron here. I didn't see a temple, but this totally makes up for it. This is better loot, loot than any temple would have gotten us. I can't wait to see you showing some player-made stuff. Yeah, I, I will definitely do that. When I get back to the, to the monastery, I will finish up a few things there. After that, I think of showing you guys um, uh, Ricefield Village. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff there made by um, different players. And I also think I want to travel back to spawn for the very first time since I joined the server and just people a bit about um, around spawn. Uh, I'm not going to show you the actual journey to spawn because I don't know because uh, I don't want you to show to see how I, how I get there obviously. So I'm probably uh, at that point I'm gonna uh, start the stream when I'm somewhere close to spawn. Um, no, I do not stream to Twitch too. Uh, previously, I streamed to a ton of different platforms, uh, but the problem is that everybody uh, would join chat on those platforms, and I, I cannot warm watch chat in six places at the same time. Uh, so I was getting, mostly on YouTube, I was getting bitch at for not watching chat. Now, I tried to get around that back then by uh, having a Discord and pasting the Discord link on top of the video and all that, but turns out you can't actually make people join Discord. So this time around I decided to stick to YouTube only and just focus as much as I can on that. And it seems to be, it seems to be, um, it seems to be better this way. Another one. Well, the first one didn't die. There we go. Take some cocoa beans, not half cocoa beans at home. But um, you never know if I suddenly need them on this trip. There doesn't seem to be a temple on this particular jungle biome. And as I was expecting, it's not just a tiny one like it looked like from ashore. Now this is pretty cool. You can immediately tell that this, um, this kind of world generation is the notch's job and not Jeb. <laughs> I'm obviously just joking around when I say stuff like stuff like that. Um, this is a rabbit hole that I don't really want to get into um, at this point in time. It's a shame though; it looks interesting, but. Now the stream is at the 55 minute mark, so I think I'm just going to give it uh, 5 more minutes and turn it off at the 1 hour mark. Uh, remember it's fully possible to go back and watch the entire video.